Thanks. Some people love them, some people absolutely hate them. But like them or not, more are coming to the area. Megan Hartnett tonight reporting on some new data that was just released by the Ohio Department of Transportation showing that roundabouts have reduced the number of crashes at certain intersections. Round and around and around. In some parts of Lucas County, roundabouts can be found, well, all around. They're very efficient. Uh, they're also they're also really good for the environment. There's less emissions wasted uh, with you sitting and waiting for a red light to change colors. And it saves money in comparison to a light. You have to redo all the signals and put in new signals and all that type of thing. Um, you know, those types of costs have to be accounted for, plus the fact we're not paying for electricity and power. The big reason they're being put in is safety. We've mitigated 80 to 100 percent of fatal and serious injury crashes at these locations in Lucas County. We can't ask for better results. ODOT released information saying there has been a 100 percent reduction in crashes at US 20A and Weckerly. While crashes can still happen at roundabouts. It's not a fatal mistake. It's, it's not a mistake that is going to have a negative effect on your quality of life forever. We drove a path from Brent to Mitchaw to the I-475 northbound ramps where you have to drive through nine roundabouts and one more is planned to be added. There has not been a serious crash or a fatal crash at those intersections in the last three years. Lucas County engineer Mike Panuski says intersections are chosen for roundabouts based on the amount of fatal and serious accidents that have already happened there. And although people complain, unless there's a better alternative, roundabouts are here to stay. Megan Hartnett, WTOL 11.